Walter, you've become the most popular newspaper columnist in the country. I don't understand your concern. You're going to be wonderful on the radio. I don't think I have a voice for radio. Well, Mr. George Hill of the American Tobacco Company disagrees, and he's prepared to offer you this as his argument. Well, he's got away with words. <laughs> <laughs> That's your first week's salary. That's more money than I made my whole time in vaudeville. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't need to worry about theatrics on the lucky strike hour. This is a class act featuring bands from around the country with you in the middle doing 12 minutes of your, uh, your news. Allison, uh, look, I know you know this, but uh, leukemia is not something she's going to catch on the playground. You've never mentioned a family history of it. It's never come up in conversation about the other girls. Has something happened? Someone on your husband's side? I just need to know, is this the kind of disease that you can get in front of it? Allison, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. We don't... We don't treat people for diseases before they have them. Before they have them, there's nothing to treat. But with leukemia, with cancer, I mean, in theory. The kind of tests you're talking about are invasive. They're painful. It's not something you'd want done to a child unless it was completely necessary. An unconscious person can't, you know, turn on a car, right? Detective, with all due respect, could you uh, get to the point? Whose idea was to put her in the car? Martin, Martin, don't, don't say anything. Look, Mr. Tannen. I know that you're the person that has the most to gain from your wife's death. Excuse me, what's your first name again? It's Dwight. Listen, Dwight, do I look like the kind of guy who's going to allow my client to sit here and listen to these questions in these circumstances? Don't insult my intelligence, Dwight. Just cut to the chase. We all have to make our living. I'm not arguing that. Cut the trees in the interior. Turn it into a parking lot. Just quit with the chainsaws when you get to where people can see. We're trying to develop themes for each area up here. The Wales Causeway, Island of the Raven People, Kingdom of the Salmon, Lumberland. That's us. That's a turn of the century sawmill with a little water power generator and a gift shop. That's history, Phil, not industry. History is our future here. So what she did that made her so memorable? It's what she didn't do, actually. She asked to use the bathroom. I said, OK. After all that mess, she didn't steal anything. What do you keep back there? Uh, excess inventory, items for repair, my business records. What about your money? Where'd you keep that? In my safe. He showed up, Mr. Lipschultz. Oh, 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 hey. What did you do to Leonard? I just want to talk to you is all. You have to ask nicely. OK, I apologize. You want a drink? I got a problem, Marlo. OK. I took a guy's marker for 100 G's. Now I can't find the guy. Charles Nichols. He likes to play here. The closest legal gambling to Poodle Springs. How come you took his marker? He always came good before. A lot of money in the family. You ever hear of Clayton Blackstone? Something. Caravan Mining Corporation. OK, so there's money in the family. I don't shake people down. All I do is find them. That's all I'm asking. Look, I'm out of 100 grand. My banking don't like me to do that. I'm talking about very heavy people. They break legs more often than they break wind. You follow? Whereas with you, it's the other way around. Marlo, you got to help me. Infinity Airlines, according to its marketing VP, is deciding today whether our services will be required in the future. What? Why? Apparently, they received uh, some information that you coerced an Infinity employee to illegally board a passenger under your name onto Flight 82. Yeah, I mean, we dealt with this a year ago after the crash. It was a computer problem or something. They have a correct version of the roster in their system. Yes, they do. Uh, do you know a Janice Guerrero? Well, she was fired six weeks after the accident for altering the roster, removing your name, in fact, and adding the name of a Greg. Is this woman going to testify? Maybe. But she's not the most credible witness. She's a bitter ex-employee, axe to grind, Infinity's position is that the roster screw up is a harmless computer glitch. It's no big deal. They just want to know if you have a problem with that. You got it wrong, Harry. He'll make you. If it wasn't for him, you'd still be on the back page, the canine section. I just hope he lasts long enough for me to get that big promotion, that's all. And if he dies? Then he'll die a hero. And I'll write one hell of an obituary for him, lauding his courage, his idealism. You know enough about such things to write about them, Harry? George will be blunt. The Mets need somebody to head up scouting, and we think that someone might be you. Head up scouting? 
Interested? I'm still here. <laughs> now, unfortunately, league rules prevent us from making you an offer while you're still under contract. You understand what we're talking about? So you need me to get fired. We didn't say that. No, we couldn't say that, because even if we did... We couldn't say that we said it. You see what we're saying? But you are still paying for this lunch. We didn't say that. 